And thanks for joining us. Welcome to the News at 4 on your Friday afternoon. I'm Tammy Tremblay. And I'm Dee Sarton. And our top story today from the Idaho Capitol. Where Idahoans packed into the State House today to weigh in on House Bill 249. That bill, among other things, would add a work requirement to qualify for the pending Medicaid expansion. Voters passed that expansion in November with 61% of the voters in favor. Our Joe Paris followed the hours long testimony today and joins us live from the State House with what Idahoans are saying and how lawmakers are reacting to the testimony. Joe. Well, since early this morning, Tammy, people packed here inside the Lincoln Auditorium inside the state capitol. Uh, these rows, they were filled with people that were here to testify on that House bill. And there's about 50 people that testify to the House Health and Welfare Committee this morning, and all but one of them say they're against the bill. That's House Bill 249, which is also being called the so-called Medicaid sideboards bill. And really, the big takeaway, again, from about the 50 people that testified here today is that they are not in favor of that proposed work requirement to qualify for Medicaid. Now, bill sponsor Representative John Van Der Woude says that he wants to mirror the state's Medicaid uh, program after Idaho's food stamp program. And Van Der Woude says that he really likes how the SNAP program works and thinks the requirements around it are fair. Now, under that, able-bodied Idahoans, they need to work 30 hours a week to receive benefits. And implementing that requirement and others laid out in the bill, though, that would cost millions of dollars. Again, testimony was overwhelmingly against that. And here's what some people had to say. Governor Little and JFAC has already got this right. The governor found a good way to fund it in the first year, and JFAC has adopted that spending plan. I ask this committee to demonstrate similar fiscal responsibility. Medicaid people already are in struggle. They take the lowest paying jobs, often without sick leave. When they're too sick to work, they don't get paid. Why add that they lose their health care when they're too sick to work as well? Representative uh, Vander Wouda announced earlier in the day that the House Health and Welfare Committee probably wouldn't vote on the bill today, and they ended up not. They're going to take it up again next week, but they are still considering the comments made about the Medicaid sideboards that were made during public comment today. Now, the representative couldn't say for sure what happens next, but committee member Democrat Muffy Davis says her party, the Democrats, they're clear in believing that Medicaid expansion should be enacted cleanly without sideboards. The governor has instructed us to get an Idaho solution. It may look a little bit different, uh, but I believe we have to do it fiscally responsible, but we also have to do it medically responsible so that the people are getting the care they need. And, and I believe that's the balancing act that we're trying to create at this point, what that exactly is going to look like. You know, your guess might be as good as mine. That's mine. just not what the people want. And I believe we're elected, and the Democrats, we believe we're elected to represent the will of the people. And we want to see that will enacted. So again, no vote was taken today on sending this bill to the full House. It will likely be brought up early next week. It's unclear, though, if and how many changes could be made to the bill. There are a lot of different options that legislators have right now. They could actually amend this bill. They could go back to the drawing board, and they could even uh, make up some new legislation that they would put forward to the House. It'd have to go through the committee first. But a little bit of clarification. When we talk about these Medicaid sideboards, the Medicaid Prop 2 was passed back in the fall, and now there's calls to be adding some different things to it. So that's what those sideboards are. Those are new things that would be uh, implemented as part of the Medicaid expansion. Again, this is expected to be brought up early next week. For now, though, it's kind of wait and see to see what any possible legislation will look like. D. Joe, did you get a sense of urgency at all today? We're in March now, and I know that the lawmakers start wanting to kind of get things, you know, well on the road to uh, wrapping up. Well, Representative Van Der Wout has said that he knows they need to get this done before they can go home. And a lot of legislature, uh, legislators, that is, are hoping that the legislature will wrap up in the next several weeks. But the governor made it clear that this needs to get done this session. So they know that they're on the clock. So there is that urgency to get something done. And as the Republicans and Democrats argue, get it done right. 